Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing a couple of different horror games. Both of them are pretty short, and both of them have to do with normal things. So the first of which is Yummy Breakfast. And I've actually played another game from this developer. That one was kind of comedic in some ways, that was Mr. Bun Bun's Adventure. But this one is about having a normal breakfast. Ah, what a nice cup of tea. Perfect for a yummy breakfast and a fresh start to my day. Slurp. Yep, just swallow that whole teacup. Get that calcium. Porcelain's got plenty of calcium. Of course, there's more to a yummy breakfast than just a cup of tea. Let's make pancakes. I need eggs, butter, and milk from the fridge, and a flour and sugar from the cabinet. Then I get the eggs, butter, and milk. Got eggs, butter, and milk. Let's get some flour and sugar. Got flour and sugar by hopping around up and down. We've got all the ingredients. Let's cook pancakes. The pancakes are done. Let's set them on the table. That's a sink. I wash the dishes with it. This is where I keep the pots and pans. The cabinet to the right is where I keep ingredients and such. Before we eat the pancakes, let's walk around a little bit more. Oh, we got a bun and we got a chicken out there. Those barrels are full of yummy soda. Of course you can have that for breakfast. <laughs> That's my keepsake box. I wonder what's inside. Money. It's my bookshelf. There's a lot of recipe books here. Well, I can always count on flowers to cheer me up. Sometimes. That's my bunny, Mr. Bun Bun. Hey, it's Mr. Bun Bun. Isn't he cutie? Ben, love you too, Mr. Bun Bun. Good morning, Mr. Miss Chicken. Oh, that crate? That's just a hole to makeshift fence I put together after the old one got destroyed. What happened to the old fence? Hmm. Secretly, I just play this game because it has a, a bunny named Mr. Bun Bun. <laughs> ah, pancakes. Let's chow down. Mmm, that tasted good. That was a weird sound for eating pancakes. Something extra squishy pancakes. Mmm, still a bit hungry though. Oh, I know. There's some leftover cake in the fridge. I'm sure no one will mind if I... Um, borrow it. <laughs> We're the only one here. Why would anyone mind if we borrowed it, period? That is a, it doesn't matter if someone... Why, 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 why are we asking ourselves for permission? We're an adult. It's just an empty plate. Let's get that cake from the fridge. I'm starving. Let's have some cake. Rummage. Got some cake. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's hurry over to the table to eat this before we get caught or someone makes a cake reference. <laughs> Finally. Time to dig in. Man, that was a weird sound for cake, too. Some squishy cake. Mmm, <laughs> that was so... G-O-O-D. Good. I'm... still hungry. Maybe you're depressed. I'm... still hungry. I'm still hungry. Ah. Deep breaths, Susan. We can get through this. Okay, there should be some vegetable soup in the cabinet. I can take it and cook it on the stove. I know it's a bit odd for a breakfast treat, but we'll just make do. Okay, let me just rummage through here real quick. Got a can of veggie soup. Alright, let's get started. Open the can with the can opener. Simmer the soup. Hooray, the soup's done. Mmm, that soup looks so yummy. I'm gonna eat it all up. It's always the same sound. Yummy. That soup was so G-O-O-D good. Yep, it really hit the spot. Yahoo! Woohoo! Woohoo! Mmm. Certainly no problems here. I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. Why am I still hungry? Meat. That's what I need. Meat. Meat. There's some dried fish in the cellar. I've been saving for a special occasion, but... <laughs> Meat, huh? 
And now Mr. Bun Bun. Is there any different dialogue now if I go back to this? No. Okay. Huh, it's dark down here. There's gargoyles and a giant axe, like an RPG. That's okay, though. That's just the way I like it. Can't remember what I put in the sack. It smells weird, though. It's my wood pile, just in case I ever need to start a fire. I would ever start a fire for? Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of reasons to start a fire. Then what's up with the statue? It's creepy. Is it edible? Sharp. <laughs> Since when do I have an axe? I don't really exactly remember. Huh. Why is this blood here? I must have just been butchering some chickens. Probably didn't clean up after yourself. Man, what's this crate? It smells weird. No peeking my drawers. Huh. <laughs> I don't need a mirror to see that I'm just as good looking as ever. Ah. <laughs> Time to chow down. Mmm, <laughs> that tasted good. You just let the fish out on the table? A bit salty though. I mean, if it's cured fish, I guess you theoretically could. It's not as feeling as I would have expected either. Meat. I need meat. The chicken. Upstairs in the animal pen. <laughs> I mean, that's not... That's not nothing really wrong with that. I mean, the chickens. So you tell them you do eat them. They don't want to open the store. It's too creepy. This is still just technically a normal breakfast. People, people butcher chickens to eat for breakfast. That's a thing. Hey, this chicken. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Stop judging me, chicken. Stop looking at me like that, damn it. What? Finally, some goddamn meat. You, you just, you just ate it right there. I... I don't believe it. I'm still hungry. There's really no meat around here. You just ate some. The door. In the cellar. Ben? Now I know what you're thinking. But there's a thing called rabbit starvation, so we should probably eat something else, okay? Actually, you know what? No, Mr. Bun! And I'm still hungry, too. Rabbit starvation is real, by the way, but that doesn't really apply to this situation. You already had, like, a balanced diet. Rabbit starvation is if you're only eating rabbits or lean meat in the absence of other nutrition. The door. What's behind this door? Um, you're a person. I don't like the look of all this blood. Bones, human bones. Huh. You conveniently forgot things. Hey, is that you? What? It's the girl. She's badly hurt. Oh no. No, 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 no. I. Oh. That's right. I just remembered. I'm a flesh eating monster. Why didn't I remember that? Hell of a thing to forget. <laughs> The end. That was almost comedic. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, I, I eat, I eat human flesh. I can only be sustained by human flesh. Silly me, silly me. Let me just eat this person here, and then you know, and then everything will be solved. So a little bit of education for you then. You know, if you're a flesh eating monster, don't forget to eat your flesh, human flesh specifically, because apparently chicken and rabbit flesh doesn't count. So this is the second game we'll be playing, which is make sure it's closed. Um, this is another game also that I've played from another developer I've played before. Um, they made a game about real estate and buying a house. This one's about keeping your garage door closed. Dear Alex, Mom and I went to dinner with the Russells. The fuse in the garage is broken, so the motion sensor might make the garage door get stuck. Make sure it's closed before you go inside. We left you some money for pizza. See you soon to be safe. Love, Dad. Radical. Space to push button, mouse to look. So it's just gonna be the entire game. We just close the garage. Okay. Sure. But you're taking a while. Well, it's fine. This is pretty much closed anyway. Hey. Hey. I double tapped you. Go back down. 
Something's blocking it, maybe. Or maybe the sensor's broken. Hey! Go back down! What's wrong with you? I'll get that fixed. There we go. Oh, the power's just out. No wonder. That makes sense. Why am I still standing here? We should pro- We should- We should probably go in the house and lock the door behind us. We should probably- We should probably go in the house and lock the door behind us. Oh, it's fine. Just- Just close the door. No, the other way! The other way! Good thing it's afraid of light. No! It's crawling! Oh, he's just a friendly person. With a very big smile. Make sure it's closed. So looks like that's our second lesson of the day. Make sure your garage door is closed, or... Noodly armed monster man with a big smile is gonna crawl in. Because he is very limber. Uh, and, and he won the limbo competition. And he's gonna get right in there and up in your grill. He also taught the importance of maybe abandoning your post and button. And making a run for the inside and saying, you know what, forget the car. <laughs> we don't need that car anyway, so let the monster take it. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play these two different horror games. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.